gentlemen and boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the Juicy Vapor Channel! I'm Chef Andy, your DIY guy, and this here is Kira, a.k.a. The Juicy Fruit! Whoa! Over the top? Was that too over, too over the top? Yeah? Think so? Okay. Well, we'll just smell a bit down, boys and girls. Welcome to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Um, <laughs> alright guys, today we are trying the number 64 Beard E-Juice line by Vapeco with a 70-30 VG to PG mix and it's got a 3% milligram by volume in nicotine. Ta -ta -ta. Beer. The beer. And since there's too many words in a row for me to remember... Oh, I forgot it was off camera. Um... Near? Far. Near? Alright. A unique blue hibiscus twist. You messed it up. What? I said you a... Said u unique, you said a unique blue hibiscus twist. I'm sorry. A unique blue raspberry um, his biscuit twist his with a biscuit. list with the list yes I have a list really I do um, okay cool uh, I've already kind of filled this up a little bit to wet the appetite of the coil we're just gonna finish topping that off there and uh, getting that in there right one more all right cool I've already pre-lit the pilot aka the mm -hmm. coil the pilot light the pilot light that's right and I creep my keep my pilot screen lit now that's kind of a cool color and again one more time one more time just to get everything started uh, this is the Numero 64, a unique blue raspberry hibiscus twist, the number 64, 70-30 VG to PG with 3 milligram by volume, nicotine, beard, ah, the beard, the beard, nah. that dude's pretty cool, I like it, I, I actually like that, that's cool. Um, again, I already kind of got everything going here. I'm, I'm going to take a couple of uh, dry suctions to it just so I can try to get the uh, oil, the juice through the uh, wick. And that way we don't have any dry vapies. Dry vapies. So, there is a fellow reviewer out there. Her name is Tia. And her thing is, hi my little vapies. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's cute. So I guess that word has been That's in a doc shout out. Yeah, shout out Tia. Doo, 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 doo. Tia vapes word. And then her dad, indoor smokers. Another father daughter team. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Another shout out. Peace. I like his voice the way he does it. He's got a very distinctive sound. I don't. All I know how to do is make an ass out of myself every time I'm on camera to gain your votes. Oh wait, I'm not Donald Trump. I'm sorry about that, Hillary. No, negative campaigning. <laughs> Go Gary Johnson. <sighs> feel the Johnson. <laughs> feel, feel, feel the Johnson. Or, or is that feel the burn of the Johnson? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Now Trump that, Clinton. I love you, Hillary. Oh, yeah. No, I have not smoked anything, drank anything under no circumstances. I have not had sexual relations with that woman. Oh, who is that, Miss Bluinski? No. <laughs> By the way, Kira does not want to be referred to as Kira, nor does she want to be known as the Juicy Fruit. From here on, she wants to be known as the Vape Ninja. However, 
that is a trademark infringement because there is also another reviewer out there with that name. So, the juicy fruit. It stuck. It's it stuck with me. Alright, here we go. That was odd. Not bad. Alright, something I've noticed with every different type of vape. One of the blessings on having something with an adjustable uh, wattage or temperature control. Some juices taste better the hotter they get or the, the higher the watt. Some just need to be dialed back a notch to get a consistent nice flavor. Um, we tried this a little little bit ago on a higher wattage and a higher temp and uh, while we could taste where it was kind of going it wasn't yielding uh, the the nice taste that we were uh, that we know could come from this company because they put out wonderful vapes mm -hmm. uh, so I dialed back on my 100 watt e-leaf uh, I've dialed it back I, I had it at 80 watts before of course we were rocking a, a 2 ohm coil so I've dialed that back now to 70 watts and we're gonna go ahead and try it there um, also the way you vape uh, either by opening up the air holes or allowing more in um, could could uh, so it doesn't hit you in the back of the throat some some are smoother some are not uh, also vaping longer uh, instead of taking short little breaths can all affect the taste and consistency of the oil so having said that we dialed it back to 60 I'm sorry 70 and uh, we know it ran kind of hot before at 80 so I we're going to dial that back a little bit here. Just a short, you could taste that. It does have the floral tone there. Um, yeah. Now I will tell you that it comes a little more nasally a little bit than necessarily the back of the throat. Uh, it's a it's got a nice little taste to it. Um, I like the blue raspberry. The his, yeah. Um, I I like that as well. Each vapor is different. Um, some some uh, e juices that I do, they taste better. Uh, like I have the H Priv two hundred and twenty watt. And there's some some juices I run in there because they are, just taste great at a high wattage, high temperature. Uh, this one here I found tastes a little bit more mellow if you can dial back the wattage or temperature a little bit and taking shorter, not necessarily uh, lung hit, but maybe just kind of filling the mouth and swirling it up. Um, I don't if you're a cloud chucker, I don't know if that might work for you. Uh, it, I, I kind of like both. I like flavor and cloud chucking. Um, with this one here I don't see myself doing that with. But for a nice tasty, I can almost like, you know what, I think I, I figured it out. You know those like, those bedtime teas? Yep. Kind of tastes like one of those, doesn't it? Yep. If you, maybe at night, if you're like a t little tea drinker, Mm -hmm. uh, low, it's got the low uh, nicotine in there, so it shouldn't and hurt you, uh, huh? Oh, I thought you were talking about nicotine and tea. No. Like, no, I'm just saying you could pair that well with like an evening tea. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what that kind of reminds me of. Um, yeah. Um, it tastes like tea and a blueberry muffin almost it's not as sweet though mm -hmm. it's not as sweet it's very very uh, reserved on that aspect of it uh, so what you're going after here is a little more of sometimes young people maybe not so much so uh, don't really understand the whole tea thing uh, 
I notice that that's probably now that I'm in my mid 40s something I'm more aware of. Uh, sometimes I do. I have ab uh, evening tea. This would be something great that I might pair with that. Um, you know, a little cookie, a little cup of tea, mm -hmm. and, and you know, you know what? Like a this one right here would be like a little pecan sandy mm, cookie pecan with the tea and maybe this little vape right here. Mm -hmm. That that's what I think this would probably really be good with. Uh, I'm glad that they included the name on this one, telling me it's unique. It is, it, and I will say it's. I like it. I'm a little bit older, uh, but it's probably a little more of. Uh, I'm not knocking young people out of the park. She's in her early 20s, but she also grew up in a, a family of people that are in and out of the kitchen. So, um, but the a unique blue raspberry hibiscus. That's that's an important um, and it says twist. That's important verbiage to note because that might be a little more of an advanced palate type thing. I agree. Uh, you know, but. Uh, by all means go out and try it it's wonderful uh, it's got those 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 nice flowery uh, floral tones kind of more hits you in the higher end of the palette the upper side it smells good when it comes out of your nose yeah it, it really does now by all means uh, I do not recommend people exhaling a lot through their nose because you could dry out mm -hmm. the capillaries and all that but you know, it's not something, and, and I smoked for 20 years, tobacco free for over five. It's not one of those things that I would lung hit. I would keep it up here, swirl it around, mm -hmm. and I would take shorter, nicer little puffs into the mouth, and then just I exhale. Again, mm -hmm. I can really imagine this with like a pecan sandy and an evening tea, and just vaping off this and kind of... I live out here in the country, so like on the front porch when it cools off, maybe. Mm -hmm. tea well, now I want tea. Number 64, Beard Line by Vapeco. It's got a 70 to 30 VG PG mix. It is mm, three, milligrams. three milligrams, Nick by volume, and number boom, 64 beer. Uh, beer. Ah. <laughs> Help! Let me out. Ah. He's stuck in the box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us again today. We'll have some more videos for you real soon. We enjoy you. Keep coming back, please. Uh, no. Like that one right subscribe. there. Like and subscribe. There's our website. Uh, you can go to thebestclearmizer.com. Uh, they've got all your wonderful, 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 wonderful coupon codes. Save some money. Please like and subscribe. Also, my contact information is on here. When you go to the website, there's my email. Also, by the way, please, by all means, uh, get in contact with me if you have any questions uh, I can help you with. I am really easy to get a hold of. And again, we thank you for your time and joining us. Uh, for our reviews on these products. If there's something else that you'd like to see us review, I again, I'm welcome to uh, anything. We'll see what we can do for you. And you have a wonderful... Wonderful day. <laughs>